Dulles is um, 30 years old this year. Uh, we're based in Machantlis in Mid Wales and more recently have an office up in Scotland in Stirling as well. We have just over 100 employees. We're a worker-owned co-op. Some turnover figures there just to give an idea of growth over the last few years. Um, taking us over a period of three years from 2008 to 2011 up from 8 million to 21 million. Um, really growing with a, a massive growth in the renewable energy market, which is the field that we operate in. Um, we've typically made somewhere around 5% net profit um, on those sorts of turnovers. And that, because we're a worker co-op, is all reinvested in the business or paid in dividend to our shareholders, who are our employees. So what do we do? We're active across a whole range of renewable energy technologies. Um, we cover solar photovoltaics, um, for the uninitiated, that's generating electricity from solar as opposed to generating hot water, which is the other thing that's typically done with solar panels. Um, so we install so to solar photovoltaic systems, um, range of sizes right through from domestic systems up to more industrial or commercial systems or those for um, big public sector or, or those sorts of clients. We also trade in solar internationally. Um, so this is an example of the kind of mainstay of our international business, which is solar vaccine refrigeration. Um, clients being development agencies and solar refrigeration is the kind of key final step in the cold chain, which supplies vaccines into remote areas, um, which typically won't have any electricity grid or any other form of power supply. Wind energy. Um, whole range of services for wind energy developers. We also install wind monitoring masks and also more recently remote sensing devices which can be used for measuring wind speed and direction. Um, and we also install what we term medium scale wind turbines. By medium scale we mean the sorts of things that um, farmers or landowners might be able to invest in themselves rather than being something that has to have a, a big utility backer. Hydro energy. We design and install and operate hydro <coughs> schemes. Um, and we also trade in or supply um, a particular screen technology for intake. Finally, biomass, biomass heating. Um, we supply, install and operate again biomass heating systems, including district heating systems. This particular example um, shown is a uh, holiday park in Wales, the whole series of um, chalets and then the central facilities all being supplied by one biomass heating plant and a district heating network, so piping heat between those buildings. Who are our customers? Um, key ones are energy developers, that's both utility companies, so the, the big six utility companies in the UK and smaller independent developers. Um, farmers and landowners, as we were talking with the wind energy schemes or hydro schemes perhaps. <coughs> Um, commercial and industrial energy users or even commercial and industrial um, businesses which aren't necessarily high users of energy but have large areas of roof, loop, roof space on which one can install solar. Um, public sector bodies um, and kind of public organisations, so local authorities, housing associations, we've done quite a lot of work for the National Trust in the UK um, and there's the international aid and development work for which our key clients are really aid agencies, the, the main one being UNICEF. And then right down community groups doing smaller scale renewable projects and right down to individual homeowners in the case of some of our solar installations. So who are we? Who do we need to deliver these services? Um, we're a, a, a largely high skilled, um, highly educated um, group, of, group of workers in the business engineers, project managers, technicians doing installation of, of our products, um, environmental scientists or environmental managers working on environmental impact assessment, and then the key kind of support functions that we need in order to operate a business along with that, sales, marketing, finance and admin. Key thing being we are creating high value employment in a rural area of Mid Wales in which that sort of employment is quite lacking. We're acknowledged as being good at what we do. Um, this is a, a list of a few awards from the last few years. Um, Queen's Award for Enterprise. The Ashton Award is a 
um, award for recognising sustainable business. Um, REA is the acronym for the Renewable Energy Association, which is our trade association. So we um, were awarded their Company of the Year award. And the Fast Growth 50 award is an award for um, business growth within Wales. Another one that we've won in the recent past. Give you a little bit of history behind us as well. So we were incorporated in 1982. Um, there were four founder directors and we were a commercial offshoot of CAT, which is the Centre for Altern Alternative Technology, if I can get the words out, um, in Mid Wales. Those four people were really focused on engineering and, and um, technical development, doing amazing things in places of great need, it says here. So developing new technologies and largely focused on um, products that might be used in the developing world new technologies and a real niche market that they were operating in. 1989 saw our um, eventual complete separation from CAT. At that stage, the company um, bought out the shareholding that was still retained by CAT. Um, and from then until 2000, every employee of Dulles as a business was both a shareholder and a director of the business. And we were a um, um, a truly worker-owned business in that all the shares in the business were owned by its employees. In 2000, we were around 15 employees um, and a decision was taken at that point to move to an elected board of five directors um, rather than everyone retaining that director status. In terms of external factors affecting us, probably from 2000 onwards we could really see that renewable energy was becoming a mainstream market um, and also uh, a market that was significantly growing. It's a market that Dulles grew with, um, taking us in around 2010 to something approaching 100 employees. And at that point, um, the members, the employees of Dulles decided to implement quite a, um, a kind of focused programme of structural and governance changes. And the real drivers behind that were to try and promote our commercial focus as a business, to try and, um, I suppose, fit up our structure for the sort of size that we've become at that point and the sort of complexity of business that we were running and also to allow for continued growth in the business. These structural and governance changes, they covered management, they covered our board governance, um, various other factors. But the key thing is they were agreed by consensus of all our employees. Um, at a general meeting at the end of 2011. The same sort of period where we were going through these structural changes has also seen two of the biggest um, commercial transactions that, were, that the business has ever done, or the two biggest commercial transactions that our business has ever done. Um, the first of those in 2010 was the sale of part of our business. Um, that was our business which uh, wholesaled photovoltaic systems, so importing solar panels in, and other products such as inverters and so on that are required um, into the UK and selling them on to other people to install. That's a business that um, had really kind of boomed, driven by the feed-in tariff. There was a lot of competition coming in from outside. It was becoming um, large-scale mainstream and operated by some quite large organisations which we didn't feel able to necessarily compete with in terms of um, financial backing, I suppose, primarily. Um, and we sold our business in that field to a German wholesaler called MHH, which wanted to enter that market in the UK. That decision was made um, by consensus of the entire um, shareholding and all the members of Dulles Limited. And that includes the people who were in the section of our business that was sold. So the consensus was reached amongst all the employees who would remain part of the Dulles Cooperative and those who were in the business that was um, moving over to this new company. Um, second one of these significant transactions for us um, is this year the purchase of, uh, of a business which is a wind monitoring master supplier and installer called Chillwind based up in Inverness in Scotland. They are um, or have been both a key supplier of ours in terms of supplying the wind monitoring masks that we have been installing for many years and therefore a company that we've had a very close working relationship with for a long time, um, but also a competitor of ours in terms of being a business that installs masks in direct competition to us. 
So this purchase, I suppose, provides some vertical integration in our business in terms of the um, supply of those MetMasters that we're installing and also consolidation in the market um, with us linking with a competitor. Um, that's a decision that was taken by the Dulles Board, but um, in this case with quite extensive consultation with um, the rest of our business and with, I believe, the, the support of the rest of the company. That really takes us up to today, where we are today. So a business that's committed to worker ownership. We're com competing in what's moved from being a very niche market in renewables to something that's very much in the mainstream, um, competing with other large commercial organisations and um, looking forward to continuing to do so for the next 30 years. Thank you very much.